Make a noise where we need to go. You want us back in the Ed Pastor room? And a freaking phone rings once. 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 Welcome to another episode of Unearthing the Supernatural. Tonight, we join the crew in Miami, Arizona, as they investigate the infamous Bullion Plaza. Served as a grammar school from 1923 to 1994, most of its life, the Bullion Plaza served as a grammar school for Mexican-American and Apache children, reflecting the segregation pattern that prevailed in many Arizona communities, including the public school system during that era. Unfortunately, as with most boarding schools of the time, a system of physical punishment was used on students who forgot the English-only rule and for those who practiced their traditional ways of life. The echoes of the pain and sadness still reverberate through these walls to this day. Now this episode is not the first time that Unearthing the Supernatural had investigated the Bullion Plaza. Several months prior, the crew was called to investigate this haunted structure. Unfortunately, during this first encounter with this haunted building, our footage was erased by some unknown force. The beings of this building communicated with Hero that there are several holy objects being held inside this museum. In here, there is a bear hide in here somewhere. That would be another thing. Another too. thing, yeah. Yeah, and I'm trying to remember here. Bring your flashlight. Yeah. Oh yeah, there, there it is. There. Yep. Yep, in the wheelbarrow. So we're still cleaning up in here. So. He's huge. Yeah, yeah, it's a big, a big, big bear. That's a snout. Yeah, he was here. He was here when I was when I first got here, and I don't have any information on him. Well, I'll see if we can talk to him. Okay. Yeah, we're just oh, neat. Connected. Yeah, yeah if you would, know please. Bear songs and stuff? Mm. So, maybe I'll see what it's talking Yeah, and, and ask him, you know, I mean, when you're, when you're doing that, ask him, you know, how he's doing and how we can better display him. Were these holy objects the original sources that haunted this building and kept spirits from moving on to the other side? They just don't like to be... Especially down there. Disrespected. Yep. Mm -hmm. Join us as a crew gears up for round two with the Bullion Plaza. And let's see what these powerful beings have in store for unearthing the supernatural. Welcome to another episode of unearthing the supernatural. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sinik tehti ti omako ni achiani. Sinik ti anasta okoi di anasti tehti misa to ho ti di kai ni stai. It's in a kiana. Spots in the set, in it, it is such a lot of no. Like when I look down that way, it's like not real. Like beyond that door, it looks like it's just like a fake. It's like a painting. Yeah, it's like painting. it's a painting beyond that door. Itiamas, skeno te te kadai. We've come here to listen to your story. We've come here to hear you. To be able to express yourselves, can you make a loud noise for us, please? Let us know that you're here. Just close, guys. Is that you closing the doors back here? See any doors closed though? Like it closed and opened, huh? Yeah. Can you make that noise again for us? That was awesome. The weird thing is, like, it sounded. You couldn't tell where it came from. You couldn't tell where it came from. No. It could have been upstairs or downstairs. That is a mannequin down there, just so marking it for the camera. It is a mannequin. Can you make the mannequin move?
Wave its hand. We heard you go open and close the door. Good job. That's a good way to let us know you're here. By chance, can you do it again, please? Just to mark that when the doors open and close, Sean Clinn and Bezpop, they were they were in the room that we're getting ready. We're gonna go towards that now. It's just, we heard something walking in the hallway and that's what brought myself out. And Colta's holding the camera right now and he's following me around. So there's, we were standing right kind of beyond those doorways right there. And that's where we heard like a door, a me, like a big metal door, uh, like close and open, open and close. It was like, dish, 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 dish. and then he heard walking after that. Let me meet back up with the guys and uh, kind of see if we can uh, review what we captured. I wonder if that was upstairs. I think so too. Did you just close the door? No. We gather we're gonna look at this footage again. Damn it! We just got we just got ready. You guys didn't close the door? No. Dude, it was wild, man. We heard a door close. That's a door closing. That's a door closing. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> guys. Oh, <laughs> okay, what'd you guys take? What'd you guys take on the video? Like we weren't even ready, honestly. Like we were just starting to get things set up. We're starting to get zoned in. We didn't even get a chance to get zoned in, really. And then, like you guys heard footsteps walking down the hallway, and so we were quiet. And then I just had a bad feeling, so I went out there and just started just grabbed my phone, the one that I'm rec you're recording on right now. Just grabbed that and just started recording. And then um, Colta was able to come out and follow me while these guys are still getting the rest of the camera equipment ready. And we caught that door opening. Right on command, it's like, let us know that you're here. Well, because when we were getting ready, I just felt something dark. Like, you know that feeling like you're in trouble and mom and dad are walking down the hallway? That's, that's exactly how I felt. No. And like, what's weird about it is Colta and I, like, we were just talking about it off camera, just how much like fear we had of walking down. Like, what the heck is this? And it's like fear driven. So we kind of already can tell some of the spirits that are kind of here. What? Was it not recording? I formatted the wrong SD card. Was that the door closing? No. No. Brother. Brother. I think we still have it on your phone because. Is it recording on both SD cards? I never put this one in. What the fuck? Look, look at this guy. Show him. Show him. I never put this SD card in. This I, SD I, card has I never been in. I just formatted that one. This one's just been formatted. He's never put this one in, and it's got footage of already being in here. That's the one of the door closing. Press play. Am I tripping? Did I take it out? I, I don't remember taking that out. I thought I just lost everything, but I just swapped out these two SD cards to format them. I did. And I had this spare one in my hand. I was like, no way, I just deleted our footage that we just got. And these two SD cards were already in there, so I take them out and I put the new one in to format it, but it has the original footage in there. What is affecting Sean Klen now? 
is a technique used by the phantoms to not only draw fear, but confusion out of their prey. Sean Clan is the victim of one of the phantoms' mind wipes. This particular technique used by the phantoms is called Guashkintesi. What, what do you feel? I, I definitely don't feel like it, I'm focused. Like it's, it's like clouded and you can't really like think straight. Yeah, it's definitely, uh, I guess, affecting everybody. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vespa, how are you feeling? <laughs> Not clouded at all? No, no. Chilling. Well, I guess the next thing that we gotta do now is go check to see what door's closed. We gotta find out which door's closed. Mm -hmm. Doors are all open. See, the crazy thing is, is that it's a big metal door. Sounds like it opened, closed, opened, closed. So, what if we check the to the basement? I don't think it was basement because it was clear. Like we thought it was down to the, the hall. basement. That's a wooden door. Could sound like it. Yeah. Let's go down the demon hall. So it's showing a baseline 0.3 milligauss. 55 degrees, it's a little bit warmer over here. What are you feeling, brother? So they fall in here. Brother. Skull and everything. Antlers on it too. Antlers on it. It's in my mind. Look at this stuff. Look at this. The quartz crystal on it and everything. Oops. That explains a lot. chills when you did that. We got black smoke. Shh. We got black smoke. We got black smoke. We got black smoke. Do it again. The first time I heard it, it was like a it, it, it replied as like a doo doo, but like it was out there. <laughs> no, I know in Apache culture, like, oh, we have skinwalkers, they have the deer, deer person. Mm, deer person, I got that. So, like, yeah, if, if it's like a deer head, and. Ears are like ringing your ear. But I'm hearing jingles like that staff is moving. That's a wild staff though, man. Look at the paper. The staff is wild. So that's props, so that can't be open and closed. I just heard just that. On the room in the left, I saw. Oh. On the room in the left? Yeah. Oh, 
What the fuck? Yes! So as we walked into this room, both Sean Clinton and I heard a very intense <sighs> kind of like a breathing in our ear and it made us step back. And so, and when he stepped in and just a few seconds later I tried stepping in, same thing happened. So that's why we're in this room investigating what that <sighs> breathing was. Were you a teacher here? What do you want to be in? Can you make that rim pod light up for us? See, all you gotta do is just go to the rim pod like this. Go like that. Appetite, it's prey. Is it appet? Whoa, what is this? Hallway, hallway, hallway. Come here, come here, come here. I saw somebody at the end of, at the, end of the hallway. Are you a person, person? No. Like I looked, it's a dark figure, then it went like that way, and then like it went out of the, like in between the door frame. Beyond, beyond the door or right here? It was like way out there. Where that sliding door is? A little, little bit past the stairs. So into the classroom? Yeah. So well, it's, I guess we know where we're gonna go. If you saw it that way, let's go talk to the classroom. We're gonna chase it around if we have to. The beings that are here, we're hearing you. We're feeling you. But for us to lead us down the right direction, tell us where we need to go next. Make a noise where we need to go. You want us back in the Ed Pastor room? Back in the Ed Pastor room? You want us back in the Ed Pastor room? You want us back in the Ed Pastor room? Consciously, it's a little closer. He asked for a noise and it made the phone ring. <laughs> Good job. Great job letting us know where to go. So we just got done investigating the Congress, uh, Congress in the room, and I thought I saw somebody like come up the stairs through the little safe, safe through the little slit of that door right there. You can kind of look at it. That little slit of the door. I thought I saw somebody walk up the stairs this way and walk into that room. So we we're just like, can you make a noise? And a freaking phone rings once, once, once. Again. Beckon drift maximum. Sony it's beckoning. It's like calling us. So we're kind of we're on the second floor junction right now. So it kind of led us here. Wow. All right, so we're gonna go into this room now. Okay, the classroom. Nice design. Good Cut, job, baby. <gasps> students. Good job. No. Good job. Hey. They said cut baby students. Cut the baby students? Yes. What happened to the younglings here? Your thing is this. Pass all the new care for the walk now. Were their children harmed here? Did you hurt them? Adultery. Adultery. I said kids. I was talking about the students. What happened to the kids? Did you exploit the students here?
Or were you one of the students? River David. River David. It said my name. It said your name. The river let it flow. It just said hero's name. All right, you called my name. I'm going on stage. I am center stage, ready to let it flow. So, keep an eye on things. You want to sing a song? Let it flow. So we, we just got done checking out one of the classrooms and um, it's interesting it says cut babies students and then I said what what happened to the students did you did you cut the babies and right after I said adultery so this building used to be a boarding school for Mexican and uh, Native American children so if that was one of the children contacting us about what happened to them you know we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do about helping them out did you slam this door here Strength soldier. Sure judge. Allow soul. Spoon allow soul. Soon allow soul. Soon allow soul. Near Thor, near Tao. Space be on CC. Near Tao. Watch. Unholy. Show me then. Show me what's unholy. If you're unholy, make a noise. Oh, I don't feel good, you guys. Especially. Are you up there in the attic? Whoa, I saw like a black dot up there. Oh, temperature drop. 50 degrees. If you're in the attic, make a noise. They're saying you're unholy. Is this true? Ran. Telling us to run? I'm not running. Even if you manifest, I'm not running. Could it be that the spirit ran? Who ran? Who ran? Was the unholy spirit here? Is there not a Ronak Shiachi, a Mete Lotayala? The next day on the seas, a patito of the Hoga. It ran, huh? It was here, but then it's gone now. Let's go back to base camp. Yeah. Upstairs talk. You want to keep talking? I just got chills. Oh man. I got 
it shows in my back. Who's coming up from downstairs? Like my muscles are on my back. Who just came up here? Where did you go? I've got crazy chills. We can walk through you. Big guy. Big guy. Animal power. Animal power. The bear religion. religion. <gasps> Are we gonna go to the bear room? Animal power religion. There's a bear skin in there. Bear skin. The bear is powerful to our religion. To our religion. That's right. Do you want us to go over there? Every time we try to we leave. try to leave, it's like, no, don't. All right, so we just pretty much lost our main camera to be able to, to hold everything, to be able to record stuff. So now we've gone strictly mobile. So we have our two mobile phones here. We still have to investigate several parts of the building. We just got done with a little break. It's after midnight, it's after the midnight hour. We're gonna head right down to the basement. Mm -hmm. So this is wooden, just so like when uh, Colta and I heard the door opening and closing twice, metal doors, this is wooden. Gateway. Gateway. No. Oh George. my god. Gateway upon. Upon. Gateway upon. We're, all, we're upon the gateway right now. Did you hear that? You're zinging? What was a zinging noise? I told you! <laughs> it makes that squeaky sound. Copper. Apocalypse. Copper. Increase. This is a copper area. Copper mines are all here. <gasps> I wonder. So what's his name down there? The Copper King. Copper Apocalypse. Watch your heads if you're gonna get freaked out or anything. No worries about that. No plan of escape. Yep. You're standing in the fight. Forty-eight point five temperature, point two milliguns. Recording session, Hero, Sean Klein, Kolta, Vespa, down in the basement of the Bullion Plaza. Are there any beings here that wish to make themselves known? Were there children that were hurt down here? beings that shouldn't be here.
if you're if you wanting to hurt my brother, prove that you have power and touch that red light. Are you the one that That's hurt my way. chest? Sewage? Like sewage, yeah. I feel off, bro. I just have to chill. Wait, that's water. Damn, that's still water. That's still a moving at all. Focus. <laughs> Look at this roof. But the cave in. I feel really <laughs> angry right now. Take this. You take this too. Where are you? There's something around, toss something, make a noise. Good job. Do you need help? Bastemas, che, the woga. ベスティの子たちは。やんなまじえ、もうフェリー。ま、てよか、ステービスのゲンディフォンディディアバ。Oh, I'm finally getting a Milligauss reading. Damien. This bar will not be done like this. It's all my hope. I'm not going to be a dick. Point one. This wasn't going off all evening. It's right here. Look, 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 see? It goes zero. And then zero. Hey. Hey. I just got chills. Why are you on me? It's gone. It's moving to something else. Wait. Change 
survive the hunt. Demount. Demount. I was feeling kind of off. What the? It just went off. It just went off. It just went off. So I wonder if that's feeding it. Just out of nowhere, it's all beep. It went to 2.8. And I didn't move. Right after I said that. It was so whatever off. that is, it's feeding it. Giving it energy. Whatever electric lines those are. I was right underneath it too. So, we see where you're getting your energy from. Use some of that and touch the red light over there. Touch that red light. Just go over here. Yo. See you. Good job. Keep it up. Keep using that energy. Keep building it. You're getting on the right path. Tell us your story. Let us know what's going on. Are you a human spirit? Are you darkness? Well then. Hello. Hello. Do you remember us?
Like it's not constant. Hero had heard from the spirits and felt the phantoms do their work. Now, it is time to perform the cleansings to help the young indigenous children's spirits move on and provide aid to the other beings that call the Bullion Plaza home. Hero dons his sacred death mask that allows him to perform the role of a guide and cleanser of lost souls and unbind the captured spirits that darkness has kept. Oh, 
Tanto fin de Tonic y el bote de cuando está hoy. Eso es lo que vamos a hacer. Y te han dicho que es el lugar. Pero no. Ano? Ano, mám to. Je ti ne znam za što ne znam. Kde je to što je to? Kde je to? A na kde je to? いいですか。いいですか。いいですか。いいですか。いいですか。いいですか。いいですか。いいですか。いいですか。いいですか。いいですか。いいですか。いいですか。いいですか。いいですか。いいですか。いいですか。いいですか。いいですか。いいですか。
Este é assim. Purified. Hmm? This is purified. So it. A warrior may be presented with challenges throughout the time of his calling. No matter who or what stands in front of him, he must be willing to move forward and protect those that cry out his name. He is a warrior that brings hope in the face of hopelessness. He shows no fear in the face of fear itself. Hero closes the ceremony by helping any other beings who are trapped in the building. Those beings that chose to stay were giving offering to help them and acknowledge that this was their home. Unearthing the supernatural is unique in the fact that we don't do mass cleansings. Instead, we help those that want to cross over do so. And the rest are given offerings in aid and bring balance back to a location. With the innocent children freed from the clutches of darkness, those that call the Bullion Plaza home content and blessings giving to those beings all around to bring healing and cleansings to this establishment. Even though the walls and artifacts may have a history of torment and sadness, the guests visiting the museum can be safe, knowing that the spirits around are there to tell their story, and they hope you learn from them. We at Unearthing the Supernatural and Silver Eagle Productions want to give a very special thank you to Tom Foster for your amazing hospitality, love of history, and respect for the paranormal. The spirits there acknowledge you and will keep you protected as you seek to help them tell their story. Speaking of spirits that want their message heard, UTS showed Tom the key piece of evidence of the phone ringing only once. You want us back in the Ed Pastor room? He checked all the lines and decided to open the locked office. So yeah, this is this is my office of work. And, uh, there's the phone and it's not blinking. So no missed calls, and then you just saw the video too. Yeah, so there's nothing, man. As you can see, there were no missed calls or messages. That's there wild. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. No yeah. missed calls. <laughs> Spirits have an amazing way of leading us to locations that have a story to tell. They let us know that they are there. <laughs> <laughs> Respect our kind. Or we'll come looking for you. <laughs> we are the Phantoms. Nishki Nishkatsu. Don't be harsh. You're only a one of the easy. Dark years. We can end in a stizzy. Only no harm, Nishki. We are one of many. Few of thousands. Watch out for us. <laughs>